Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching our Japan series. If you haven't watched it yet, feel free to pause, go watch them, and then resume this video. This week we traveled to the island of Tassel, one of the Wadden Islands on the northwest coast of uh, the Netherlands. This is a popular tourist destination for the Dutch and for the Germans. We are staying at De Krim Vacancy Park in one of their hotel chalets. It's a bit like uh, glamping, wouldn't you say? A little bit, yeah, but just up to Laney's standards because um, she doesn't glamp. And we'll share a bit more about this park as well. Uh, over the next couple days, we have some really fun stuff planned, so come along with us and uh, see what Tesla has to offer. Let's go! If you look at a map of the Netherlands, you'll see a series of islands that stretch across the northern coast of the country. The furthest south of these islands is called Tessel. To get there, you drive, take the train, or bike to the city of Den Helder, located at the northernmost point of the North Holland Peninsula. From Den Helder, you then board the Tesso Ferry. The trip to the island takes around 20 minutes. You can buy your ticket in advance online. Trips departing on Tuesday through Thursday are less expensive than the rest of the week, and every ticket includes an anytime return trip. You can board the ferry on foot, with a bike, or with a car. With a car, if you enter the license plate online when you purchase the ticket, the gate will automatically recognize your car and saves a bit of hassle in the boarding process. We'll put a link to the Tesso service website in the description below. The upper level of the ferry has viewing platforms, seating areas, as well as a small cafe where you can buy drinks, snacks, and Tesla related merch. For the weekend, we stayed at Vacancy Park de Krim in the village of de Koxdorf at the north end of the island. De Krim is a holiday park with bungalows, chalets, hotel rooms, and a large number of campsites of varying size. It has a ton to offer in terms of facilities, including several restaurants, a grocery store, indoor-outdoor pool, playgrounds, a bowling alley, arcade, and laser tag just to name a few. All right, we're gonna do a quick room tour here. This is uh, Hotel Chalet number one. So we're going to go in here. Lenny's already inside enjoying the space. As you can see, nice sitting area. What do you think, Lance? Is it good enough for you? Yeah. Little desk here. Looks like a little mini fridge. Yeah, a little mini fridge. Nice uh, king size split bed here. Big long window with a mural or a little painting. Nice flat screen TV. Looks like it might be an extender. Oh no, that's a uh, an audio thing behind it. Who does it actually have AC? That's pretty nice. See that a lot. Excuse me, Laney. Little coffee bar here. The kettle, coffee machine. Oh, nothing in there. Closet. A little fan. Some extra pillows, hangers. And we have the bathroom here. Excuse me, Laney. Excuse me. Let's see the light in here. Yep. It's gonna be nice. Uh, Nice big shower, sink, a few toiletries, 
hair dryer, and the toilets. Yeah, so not a big place, but a nice little, nice little uh, luxury hotel room, as they call it. A little chalet hotel. So yeah, we're gonna get unpacked now and uh, see what there is to see. We booked our room through booking.com. The cost for two nights in the hotel chalet was 390 euro and included access to the swimming pool and breakfast both days. There was also a small pet upcharge of 25 euro per night to have Lainey with us. Go forward. We're doing like the back part of the um, park. The ocean is that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're just uh, out for a walk after we got to our, our hotel chalet. Just uh, walking around and seeing what there is to see. It seems like a lot of the park is camper parking, so there's like a lot of semi-permanent camping structures that are set up and uh, there's also chalets and then a few hotel chalets it's like there might only be eight hotel chalets but that's where we are one of those and um, there's a big facility towards the front of the park where we came in that has uh, like a small supermarket and several restaurants and um, what else the pools bowling mini golf uh, I think there's a teenager's area. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, we'll make our way back around there eventually, and I think we're gonna grab dinner there too. But right now we're just kind of exploring and seeing what there is to see. For dinner, we visited the snack bar in the park called De Cox Boat for some pizza and frites. It's Saturday morning and we heard a little noise down in the cabinet near our room's door. Let's check it out. When you stay in a hotel chalet here, breakfast is included by the way of a special in-room delivery hatch. All right, let's see what we got inside of this breakfast box this morning. What's up? So we got some uh, fresh juice, yogurts, there's a croissant, and a bread roll, and another like, uh, bread roll bun here, a Pinenberg breakfast um, pastry thing. There is some ham and cheese to make a ham and cheese sandwich. You have some uh, butter, 
fresh orange, very tiny, tiny orange, um, a sugar donut, some strawberry jam, extra jam, strawberry extra jam, and finally a tiny box of milk chocolate hogglesluck. So this is what you get uh, included in your breakfast box when you um, stay overnight here. So we're going to take this over and enjoy it now. We needed to get to the beach for our tour. Google Maps said it was only three and a half kilometers away, so we decided to walk there. While this is doable, we would definitely recommend either driving, cycling, or using the local island transport, the Tessel Hopper. We are here on the beach in Tessel, uh, along the North Sea, and uh, we are going to do our first expedition of the trip. Behind me you'll see a boat here called the Vrin Shop. But yeah, so this is our, our first trip of the day. We're going to take the, the boat out, for, I think it's about an hour. We're going to go see some seals. It's a seal watching tour. Uh, we can bring Lainey with us, so she'll come with us on the carts. And yeah, we're just looking forward to having some fun and uh, getting out in the water and it's a beautiful day. We were just up at the uh, Strand Pavilion here having a little bit of a pre-ride uh, pre drink. Yeah, so um, looking forward to it. We'll see you on the boat. The Vrin Schrapp is a seasonal passenger boat that travels between Tessel and the second of the Wannan Islands, Liland. They also provide tours to see the seals on the mud flaps between the islands. The tour costs $17.50 per adult, including the use of binoculars, but no extra charge for Laney to join. They also sell drinks and a few snacks on the boat for an additional charge. Overall, it was a really nice time aboard and we saw a lot of seals. However, we were a bit surprised that we stopped at Vliland to pick up some passengers and the extra stop made the overall time on the water more than 90 minutes compared to the 60 minute tour we signed up for. Excellent value for the money as long as you don't have somewhere else to be. Also, you should bring snacks. We'll put a link to the website for the ferry below. All right, we are walking back from the SEAL tour. Uh, we had planned to grab some lunch at the beach pavilion, but it was 
very, very busy. So we did not get Too many much. people. Too, too many people. Too many people. There's only one restaurant for everyone. Not the best planning. And there's not a lot of stuff around there besides that one restaurant on the beach. So everybody had the same idea. And uh, it would have been a long wait, so we decided to walk back. All right, so we're gonna go back to the vacation park and grab some bites, snacks, something to tide us over, and then we'll head down to Denmark, which is kind of like the capital city of Tessel. And from there, uh, we have a beer tasting with uh, Tessel Brewery booked for for 5 p.m. I believe, and so we'll go down there and hang out and show you around the city a bit. It's village, I guess, not very big, <laughs> and find some dinner, and then we'll probably come back here and relax for the evening. So, yep. So, see you then. <laughs> So that was um, interesting. It was a bit of a, uh, it wasn't so much of a table, well, it was tasting. It was three, we had three different tasting glasses, but mm -hmm. it was a, uh, almost like a virtual brewery tour. And it was all in Dutch. <laughs> so we probably got 25 to 43% of what was going on. Yeah. And it was really good. It was really interesting. A few, few jokes in there. Some, some we got, some we didn't, but we yeah. laughed anyway. But uh, yeah, in general, it was, uh, it was fun. Oh. And now we get to have another one. Which is even better. So apparently the Tessel Brewery itself is uh, under construction. We visited there back in 2021. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time it was mostly closed down for COVID uh, restrictions, but we could still buy some beer and, and see a little bit of it. And so we thought we'd come back this time and, and see some more of it. But uh, again, now it's under construction, so they opened up this tasting room yeah. here in um, Denver. So a few miles, a few kilometers away from, uh, from their actual thing. And so this is like, they've totally taken it over. It's all Tesla themed. They have all the beers you can try. They have the tasting experience, some snacks and stuff. But yeah, it's been a... Uh, Just gotta say, Lainey hit the beer the hardest. Um, she is currently passed out. So she, uh, she definitely can't handle it like the rest of us. That's for sure. Oh, now she's up. She got a treat from the guy, so she was super excited. But um, yeah, she was definitely part of the experience as well. But she uh, slept through most of it because she didn't get a nap earlier. She's a lightweight. I mean, she she's only twenty kilos. <laughs> she hit the she hit the French fries earlier pretty hard. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna finish up here and um, go find some dinner and yeah, catch up with you guys later. Gross. We stopped for dinner at Brasserie Pubs Mons, where we enjoyed a lovely dinner on the patio. While my steak wasn't great, the ribs were outstanding. Afterwards, we walked around the village a bit more before heading back to Decrim for some ice cream and relaxation before bed.
We started our Sunday with some playtime in the sea. We checked out of our room and drove back to the same area where we visited Saturday morning. Yeah, Lady loves the water. Yeah, Lady is in the water. Loving life in the water. Lainey loves a bit of swim time, and the beach allowed dogs, so we let her play in the water while we dodged all the little blue jellyfish. The weather was thankfully perfect for a little family beach time. Afterwards, we headed off to our next stop, a bit further down the island. All right, we're here at the Shipwreck and Beachcombers Museum. <laughs> very excited. Lainey's very excited. You can hear her crying. But yeah, we're going to go check this museum out. We've had it recommended a couple times, and it looks absolutely amazing from the outside. So we'll show you around a little bit and uh, check it out. Let's find some stuff. <laughs> Lots of stuff. <laughs> Better. Hey, Sebastian. Wonder does he? Wonder does he? The Maritime and Jutters Museum Flora is located in the village of De Cogue. Entrance is around seven and a half euros for adults and six euros for kids. Again, pups are welcome and free. Much of the museum is outdoors, and unfortunately, not all of it is fully accessible. Along with the outdoor exhibits, they also have several different buildings filled with items reflecting different focuses, like general found items, shipping containers along with their goods lost overboard, and marine safety. Unfortunately, Tori had a small accident while visiting the museum. The museum also has a cafe where you can get drinks and snacks as well as a large themed outdoor play place for kids. It was a lot of fun and well worth the small price of admission. We'll put a link to the museum below.
on the southeast coast of Tessel, you'll find a charming little fishing harbor called Outaskild. While we didn't spend a lot of time here, there's quite a bit you can see. There are three hotels along the harbor you can stay at, as well as many restaurants, shops, boat tours, a maritime museum, and a fish market. It's also just a nice place to walk around and take in the sights of the Wadden Sea. We enjoyed a nice lunch before heading back to Amsterdam. We've just scratched the surface of all the things you can see and do when you visit the island. From camping to golfing, museums and dining, boating and water sports, biking and spending time in nature, you can spend more than a week here and never get bored. Is Tessel on your list of places to holiday? Let us know in the comments below. Alright, oh, we're recording anyway, so. Great, cool. okay, well to get started. All right. Um, so we're back home after a two and a half hour drive back. Uh, we luckily caught the ferry right away. The uh, Shipwreck Museum was awesome. It had a lot of really cool exhibits. We could just we could spend hours there just looking at all the cool stuff. Unfortunately, while looking at one of the coolest bits, which was the uh, lifeboat they had outside that you could actually walk into, mm -hmm. I missed a step and I rolled my ankle really bad. And so. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. I'm currently sporting a very swollen, sore ankle and uh, resting, icing, elevating, all that stuff you're supposed to do. And hopefully it gets better in the next couple days. Um, but after the museum, we headed over to Out of Skilled, which was a fishing harbor. And I almost thought I was going to have to push Lainey in the buggy and Tori in a buggy, but she made it through the walk, which was great. <laughs> we had some lunch. We saw even more SEAL tours offered, so it wasn't just the one that we took yesterday. Um, so there seems to be many different options that you can do. Um, but it was a really cute little place, a lot of parking, um, which was also really good. Paid parking, but lots of options, and some really good food options, which is always important as well. Yep, yeah, I enjoy some really nice kibbling and uh, we saw a bunch of kids actually crab fishing off the side of the pier. So that was really cool. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up. We had a really awesome weekend. We really enjoyed our time in Tesla and we'll probably be back in next year. Yeah, and if you're going to Tesla, we highly recommend either bringing your own bikes or renting bikes. We for sure are gonna do that next time um, because we walked a lot with Lainey, pushing Lainey, and I think I would have had a much more enjoyable time if we could have biked more and not so much walking and driving. So tip from us to you and to future us. Yes. Yeah. Although it did work out well, I didn't have to bike with a rolled ankle. That would have been pretty bad. But in any case, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And join us next time as we head down to Luxembourg for a long weekend in Luxembourg City, a place we have never visited and we're very excited to go. Let's go! <laughs> See you then!